Hello YouTube. In this video I'll be teaching you how to draw in the desktop. Before I begin, my website that I have running in my server is down. That means my website is down. I do not know why, so please be, pa be, be patient because I'm fixing the problem. Also, do not comment saying the website link is dead. I am aware of the problem. So to begin with this tutorial, my viewers are probably wondering how is this possible to create how to draw on the desktop. Well, I'll explain how. First, you get the handle to the device context, or the HDC of the desktop. HDC is a handle that references a block of memory that contains data about drawing stuff on the screen and deals mainly with graphics and drawing. Then we create a graphics object with HDC unless my viewers prefer to use Win32 drawing functions. Then we draw and we see what we have drawn, like an image or pixel on the desktop. Remember, the drawing will be erased if the window collides with the drawing, or minimize, or you minimize. Now let's go. Let's get to writing the code. Let's start by creating a project. Name the project Drawing Desktop Application. You should see an empty form. Let's start by naming the form. Call it the name of the ad, uh, the project. Let's add a button and let's call it get get device context of the desktop. Then add four text box controls on the window, on the form. Name the first text box X, the second text box Y, the third text box Width, and the fourth text box Height. Add a second button and call it Draw Rectangle on Desktop. Add three more buttons. And then name them, name them um, accordingly to what I'm doing on the screen. Y 
Well, actually, not three buttons. Two buttons. Ready have one on. There's ready. The first one is ready. Ready added. And the third one is going to be drop a pixel on, I'll draw ellipse, draw ellipse on desktop. Not pixel, we'll draw an ellipse. After that, let's start writing them the code. Let's change the form border style of the form. Change it to fixed single. And set the maximize box to false. Just press F to make it false, or just if you rather type false and type false. Um, change the the size of the form a little bit so that everything fits in. Now let's start writing the code for the first button, which is the get the device context of the desktop. Uh, before we begin writing the code. Before we start getting writing the code that will get the device context of the desktop, we have to use DLL import to to import Win32 DLLs into C# -sharp because C# -sharp cannot directly access Win32 DLLs or native C++ code. You have to use DLL the DLL import attribute and import the, those functions into C# -sharp. So let's start writing that code first. Let's follow along. Uh, write the DLL import code on top of the constructor, on the form one constructor. Before we do DLL import, uh, I forgot. Add the use uh, the namespace system that runtime that interrupt service. It returns the HTTR, which is the handle. This is the HTTP handle. This is on the same thing data type. It's the handle. Uh, the parameter for the get is the handle to the window. It will be zero if the HTTR the handle will be zero because we want to get the desktop and not go to window that we have to want. Uh, 
continues with number zero, then it says ten to eight height. So I have ten to zero to zero, ten to zero, the actual number zero goes to eight height. So I have So now we create a graph we create a graphics object from the hand of the graphics. So it's ten, uh, black. It can be any color. It can maybe one to be blue. Maybe more likely to be a cheaper color. I don't care. For this, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna uh, put it in black. You can do whatever the heck you want. I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna convert the X on text to int. Now we're going to draw an image. Next, click the third button. Draw an image on that one. Create an open file dialog object. And click the open file dialog class. We're going to add a filter. Filter can be on. A file and we're going to create, we're going to create an image object from the file. The file name is open. And we're looking in the rectangle. There's an image you didn't know where there is. That way the image. on a list, which makes it quicker, because drawing a list is the same thing as drawing a rectangle, it takes the same uh, parameters, same arguments, the only difference is instead of drawing a rectangle, you draw an ellipse, which is like a circle, or an ovation, uh, a list. Your screen now. Now make sure before you draw anything, get the device context of the desktop, or else you're gonna get a no reference exception, and you don't want that. That's ugly. Usually, what you would do is make sure stop the user and make a force the user to make a check and exception handle some sort exception handle stop prevent the program from crashing just in case if the exception ever happens. All right, so let's get the device context. Zero, zero, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. Yeah, draw it in. A zero, zero. Now draw it in. Draw a perfect circle. You change it a little bit.
enjoyed the tutorial. First time doing, you know, I'm starting to starting to do tutorials with audio, with audio in it because I've been hearing a lot of complaints that I don't do a lot of audio. But I usually don't do it because it takes up a lot of time and it's, you know, some people say my voice sucks. Probably true, but I don't know. If you think my voice sucks, or if it doesn't, leave a comment. Tell me if my voice sucks or not. Bye.